In Japan, we've been telling you about the unprecedented heat wave this week that's got many worried about global warming and a possible shortage of electricity to keep the air conditioners going. Tokyo reported record-breaking temperatures on Thursday, making it the worst June heat wave in Japan since records began nearly 150 years ago. Rupert Wingfield Hayes reports. In Isezaki, it is another blazing hot day. At 11 a.m., the temperature is already somewhere north of 40 degrees Celsius. For Masaya Maruyama, his wife and brother, working outside in these conditions isn't just hard, it's dangerous. <laughs> Masaya shows me the electric fans in his jacket designed to keep him cool, but they hardly seem up to the task. It went up to 47 degrees on the car's thermometer yesterday, he tells me. Is it dangerous, I ask? <laughs> Yes, it's dangerous. We've never had temperatures like this before in June. Usually it's raining now. A week ago, most people had never heard of the little city of Isezaki, 100 kilometers north of Tokyo. Now it's suddenly famous. This is now officially the hottest place in Japan. It's been above 40 degrees twice already this week. And according to my thermometer, it's well above that out here in the sunshine today. This has never happened before in June, anywhere in Japan. This should be the middle of the rainy season. And it's causing huge problems for Japan's electricity generating system. It's just barely keeping up with demand. And if it fails, people are going to die. These heat waves are not just a natural fluctuation in weather. Man-made climate change is making them more extreme and more dangerous. Over the past 100 years, the average temperature for Japan has risen by about one degree, which is more than a world record, in fact. And for Tokyo, it was like three degrees higher. So we, temperatures have been rising. So yeah, definitely uh, climate change is part of the reason. The increasingly frequent heat waves are particularly dangerous for old people, of which Japan has many. So here in the north of Tokyo, they've opened a cooling down centre, where I find 86-year-old Kyoji Saito taking refuge from the heat and playing Japanese chess. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed by the heat, he says. Coming here to cool down is really important. I don't want to use the aircon at home, but we're being told if we don't, we could die. Four years ago, another heat wave killed scores of elderly people and put 20,000 in hospital. This one is expected to break on Sunday, and for millions of people across Japan, it won't come a moment too soon. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.